Master Musume this week, we got a brand new character, Mero, the mermaid, who I think is a princess, because the way, well, later, well, it's leading in, in, uh, into something later, but as always, these things are cut into two parts. The first half is Sue's here now, and Miss Smith, they don't want to reveal Sue's identity to Smith, because they think that she's going to take her away, and then they all run off into a park. Park alone without um, Kimihito, and then it turns into a whole fucking thing of them trying to hide men from these guys in black. And a little funny scene of Sue wanting water, Poppy spilling it all over herself, and then and then Sue just like just sucks on her body to sucks on her body, Saria's body, and also um, Mia's body just so she can get the water from her from from them and the only way to stop her was Kimihito and a garbage bag that <laughs> those were the only things and then they gave her some water and then they found out that Meryl's going to be living with them and when Smith saw Sue she was like it's not my problem you deal with that <laughs> and she walked the fuck on and I do actually like the fact that that um that um uh, because all these people are, are, are actually staying in Kimihito's house is that they are willing to fix the house up and that they're willing to repair it and accommodate for all these changes free of charge, no problem. Like like it's like it's like they're just fixing all this shit up just say so, so like just to accommodate all the people who that are living with them. And then the second half cuts into Mia now feels threatened again because there's another girl who's in the house and is asking Kimihito if he has a girlfriend. <laughs> And I'm like, uh, Mia, you gotta, you gotta realize that, that dude, yes, he likes every girl who comes into his door and in his homestay, and he has to look after every single one of you. However, at the same time, he kind of can't pursue a romantic relationship with, with, with fucking any one of them, because every single one of them, with the exception of Sue, I believe, who doesn't have any reproductive organs. Actually, she, she, actually, she doesn't have any organs at all. Honestly, I don't even know how in the fuck a slime works. Is it like a jellyfish? I don't, I don't, I don't fucking know. But she has enough brain power to know right and wrong and look after everybody. So that is also another thing. <laughs> but sort of thinking about it though, it's like, it's like he can't have sex with any of the girls there let alone pursue a relationship with them because technically even if he does marry marry one of them it's a good chance that he probably couldn't even have sex with a mini mate um uh, anyway to consummate the marriage because again law dictates that humans cannot harm the monster people and the monster people cannot harm humans which is weird actually i think that the only reason why they get away with it with um kimihito is because he doesn't report it but all in all, though, Mia was pretty much worrying for nothing, and it all boils down to a fairy fairy tale thing. Meryl's thing of her asking why why Kimihito has a girlfriend is because she wants to have a Little Mermaid esque esque story, not the Disney one, the real fucked up one, the one where the one where the. I believe in I believe like in the original the one where she does do her thing she forsakens her mermaid um uh, her mermaid people gets she gets upon land she meet she meets the prince and actually I believe it's all the way up to the point when Ursula come comes in that that's when man they make the whole fairy tale thing or it's like that's man when they slap the Disney mag magic on it but I'm like the real story stops stops there. She does all these things. She gets up there. She gets up to uh, the uh, surface. She sees the prince. She has a wonderful time with him. And then she leaves him for another woman. And then that's the story in which that, at least that's that's the life that Meryl wants. Fuck, fucked up, yes, but that's the one she wants. And she says that she she is rooting for Mia and pretty much every other girl to go out man, and sort of have uh have Kimihito for themselves so she can be the mistress on the side. That's what that's what she wants. And uh, of course, um Mia's thing is that she wants she wants to be carried like a princess even though her lower half is I believe longer than a fucking car. So actually I believe that like it's like as long as hmm I believe her lower half is as long as like 
like a whole fucking car or or just a little bit past it but but pretty much what i'm saying is that him picking her up really isn't going to be a very easy thing to do but either way that is what she wants and everything plays out in the end it works out real real good and all that but yeah that's my time limit i really gotta go please tell me what you guys think about this down in the comment section if you like this video please please hit that like button i'll see you next time please keep watching i'm gonna keep playing video games i'm out